dark, rich, and savory. This is miso, one of Japan's traditional fermented foods. Miso is made from soybeans, and just like soy sauce, it's an essential seasoning in Japanese food culture. Miso soup features in just about every Japanese meal. The area around Nagoya has many dishes made with miso. Deep fried pork, topped with a thick miso dressing. Hearty noodles, simmered in a bubbling broth, richly seasoned with miso. On this edition of Journeys in Japan, John Gathright discovers the deep taste and tradition of miso in the Nagoya region. Okay. Nagoya lies in the center of Japan's main island in between Tokyo and Osaka. It's a major city with a long history and an exciting food culture all its own. I am in front of Nagoya Castle. And on this Journeys in Japan, we are going to learn about the wonderful world of Japanese miso. For any of you people who have had Japanese food, you've most likely had Japanese miso soup or maybe miso in some form in the food. But do you know the history? Do you know how it's made? And why Japanese love miso so much? Those are some of the things we're going to learn on this episode. Okay, let's learn together. Let's go. Yeah, miso miso. Nagoya Castle was built about 400 years ago by the famous warlord Tokugawa Ieyasu, who went on to become shogun of all Japan. It's a very popular spot, drawing about one and a half million visitors every year. Wow! I was looking for miso and I found samurai! <laughs> come on, come on, come on! Unbelievable! Okay! お邪魔しまーす。お、よいしょ。わあ、日本のサムライですかおじゃ。将軍徳川家康と申す。お、有名な徳川様ですかおじゃ、そうじゃ。わあ、そうじゃ。わあ、そうじゃ。わあ、そ
味噌といえば、うん、味噌煮込みうどんが、えー、ああよろしいね味噌煮込みうどんでいいから It is called 味噌煮込みうどん It's a kind of noodle、uh, that's in miso soup And I've been recommended by the top <笑>行ってまいれはい行きまーすよしよしあこれ外国人ですね<笑><笑>味噌煮込みうどん is a perennial favorite in homes throughout this part of Japan. This restaurant opened in 1925 and its recipe has remained unchanged ever since. お待たせいたしましたはいよろしくお願いします味噌煮込みうどんですおお。It smells good どうやって食べるんですかです、ね、こちらはですね蓋が取り皿代わりになってますのでまず蓋を取っていただきましてオーケー It's always served bubbling hot straight from the cooker where it's been simmered You just take off the lid and eat it straight out of the pot But you need to be careful Don't burn your tongue こちら取り皿代わりですので取り皿に取っていただいてオーケーオーケーこの中に入れていくんですね Wow. And you put, it, you put it in this bowl here? こ,こに入れ,入れるんですかはい。うわ<笑> It's long! Wow, look at that! <笑> the wheat noodles are firmer and chunkier than usual. They go perfectly with a thick, rich miso flavored broth. でそのすごい歯,歯ごたえがあるルールはですね、はい、すごい美味しいですよでその味噌はすお穏やかな味ですねそうです OK I've tried the noodles now let's try the soup The miso gives the broth an appetizing color It has a delectable flavor from all the ingredients simmered in it Oh it's a little thicker than I thought It's not a soup, it's really a stew. And the miso is, is a little salty, but it has a very deep, deep taste and a really, really good aroma. It doesn't smell like beans. It's, it's very... It's a soothing taste. Okay, I'm now very close to Nagoya Station. I've learned that there's another very unique and popular way of eating miso. And it's apparently down this road. Actually, I can sort of smell something's cooking. Let's check it out. Oh, everyone's busy. Yeah, oh, look it. <laughs> hey, can you smell that? Hey. Oh, look at the red lantern. Maybe there's something here. Kushikatsu. Wow. I can sort of smell like a, a miso soup. Look at this. This is miso. Miso, 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 miso. In this neighborhood, there are many small restaurants where salarymen like to stop by on their way home from work. One local specialty that goes well with a drink is miso oden. It's made by simmering meat, vegetables, eggs, and other ingredients in a broth seasoned with miso and sweetened with brown sugar. The rich taste of the miso permeates all the ingredients. Miso egg. I wonder what it tastes like. Miso egg. It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Mmm. It's good, actually. Check this out. There's a thin layer of, of a really sort of Swedish miso taste, and then you get into the egg. Oh, it's very good, actually. The cooking sauce has never changed, just topped up. It's rich with the flavor of all the foods cooked in it since the restaurant opened 58 years ago. This same miso sauce is used in another interesting way. The chef is now preparing kushikatsu, skewers of breaded deep fried pork. There's a reason why the morsels of meat are cooked on the skewer. Oh, I take it by myself? Okay, eat it, ka? Then do it, ka? Okay. In the Nagoya region, kushikatsu is always dipped in the miso sauce like this before you eat it. The miso flavored stew that the oden is cooked in is also used as a dip. Wow, dipping miso. I've had miso stew, and now almost like dipping something in ketchup or something. I dip the skewer in the miso. Let's taste it. It's good. Mm, it's sort of sweet. I mean, I'm used to dipping French fries in ketchup, but this is different. It seems a little more refined. And the fact that this miso is good with meat, they also have vegetables, eggs, it goes with anything. It's really quite a versatile food. And so good. Miso, miso. Coffee shops in the Nagoya region also have their own distinctive take on the first meal of the day. They offer a set menu at breakfast that's a bit different from what you find in other parts of the country. Okay, I'm in a Japanese cafe and I ordered coffee. Oh, and all sorts of things are coming. At this shop, if you order coffee between 6.30 and 11 a.m., it comes with the breakfast menu. This light snack always includes miso soup, made with the local miso. Japanese love their miso. They're even, they even drink it with coffee. That's really an interesting combination for me. Wakens you up in the morning. That miso tangy taste. You get all of this just for the price of a cup of coffee. Miso turns up in all kinds of unusual ways in this area. I learned that somebody else has a unique use for miso. And in trying to find out what it was, I've arrived at a beer factory. <laughs> that seems odd. Miso and beer? Let's check it out. A few years ago, this brewery began making a beer that includes miso in the fermentation, along with the malt. And this is what it looks like. Oh. In 2010, the miso beer won the silver prize at an international craft beer contest. It's not only available in Japan. These days, it's exported to a number of countries, including Australia and Singapore. To find out more about miso and its history, John travels to Okazaki, a small city about 40 kilometers from Nagoya. 
Okazaki was the hometown of the shogun Tokugawa Ieyasu, the warlord that John met outside Nagoya Castle. Tokugawa Ieyasu was born in Okazaki Castle in 1542. This is where the traditional miso is made. Japanese love to eat miso, but they're also very interested in the traditions. There's a group of people that have came here, that have come here to learn about miso. And I've been asked, them, do you guys like miso? Okay. Minasan, miso tsuki desu ka? <laughs> they definitely like miso. And now they're going to be going on a tour with me and the president to learn more about how it's made. Right? Yes. <laughs> well, we are so appreciated to get your, our friends to our factory and uh, to let them know how we are manufacturing our traditional hachu miso. Visitors can get to see the miso making process. And we're going to learn about how, what, what, what's the next process? Uh, we're going to dig out the miso uh, by hand. Really? By hand? Yeah, we not do uh, automatically. But by hand. Really? With, with a shovel? Or? Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. If you time it right, you may also see the miso being taken out of the massive wooden casks. The workers take out just enough miso to fill the orders that come in. This company produces about 1,200 tons of miso a year, and it's all done by hand. Uh, Japanese people kept this traditional way, not only miso field, but another field too. The whole process is handmade, so that, that adds to the special taste? Also special taste, and uh, it is a taste uh, continue until nowadays almost 400 years. It's a really? taste of 400 years. Oh, okay. Since, since the end of period. Really? The miso is fermented in casks made of Japanese cedar. The wood imparts its aroma into the miso as it matures. Some of the casks here were made 150 years ago and they're still being used to this day. Miso is made from soybeans. This region has a moist climate that is excellent for growing soybeans. The first step in the process is to steam the soybeans that will be turned into miso. They're crushed and formed into fist-sized balls, then inoculated with a special mold known as koji. After four days, the beans are covered with this mold, which starts the fermentation process. The beans are mashed together with salt and water. These are just the same ingredients that have been used since the old days. The soybean mash is then placed in the casks to ferment. Each of these wooden casks is two meters high and two meters in diameter. While the cask is filled, an artisan stands inside it to tamp down the soybean mash, making sure it's pressed evenly with no air pockets. Each cask holds six tons of miso. The final step is to cover the miso with a pile of stones. This helps to squeeze out any excess water. The stones are piled so tightly they won't collapse, even if there's an earthquake. It's been done like this for over 600 years. About three tons of stones are piled up on each cask. Can I come up there? Hi. Okay? Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm gonna check it out. All right. Can I borrow this ladder? Okay. I'm gonna go up and join my friends with the rocks. Okay. Wow. All right, I'm up here, and these are the rocks. Check these out. 
みんなその石積みのエキスパートですかそうですねはいわおエキスパートになるためにど何年ぐらいかかるんですか、えー、10年近くかかる10年はい10年やっぱりコツがありまして、ね、この石もやっぱりいろんな形があるもんですから、うん、それの組み合わせ方がやっぱり慣れないと大変なのでそれがやっぱり分かるようになるのに時間がかかりますはい、あそうやっぱり顔がある,顔がある石に顔があるあそう、うん、へえどういうふうにそうですよね顔って言って、うん、このピラミッド状に積んでる、うん、この表に出てるのがあの石の顔なんですよあそう、はい、でその顔を出すことによってこの石の組み合わせが決まっていくこれが石だったらちょっと僕,僕見ますけど、はい、あの顔お尻、うん、の,の,の<笑><笑>こうだからこれが顔オッケー、next one, next one, ready? オッケーオッケーオッケーフェイスバンこれ<笑>はい。コンニャクジェリー topped with a miso that's made here いただきますわおいうん甘みあっておいしいあおいしいおいしいうん Do you like it? Good? Good? <laughs> miso is good hot and cold、mm-hmm. It's good うん In summer season Very cold. It's good taste. It's very good taste. The winter season is it's, it's, it's、uh, uh, warm. It's going to be good. You like it? Yeah? Good? Yeah. Good, ladies? <laughs> <laughs> This miso from Okazaki, made in the same way as in the days of the samurai, is now exported to more than 20 countries. During the time when Tokugawa Ieyasu was waging war, miso was an essential food that the warriors carried into battle. This is definitely going to be a different miso experience. This room, and also, there's a whole bunch of miso right in front of me. It looks like curry, but I'm positive it's miso. Mmm, definitely miso. 真ん前にこんなたくさんミスがボーンってあるのは初めてですけれど今日はどういう料理ですかあの当店オリジナルの人中焼きというお料理になりますちょっと待って人中焼,焼きはいど,どういう意味ですかえー、戦国のですね、うん、あの陣営を張った中を人中と申しますでその中であのお料理されたと思われる料理を、えー想像上で再現したという形のお料理でございます。Because it's made from soybeans, miso is a concentrated source of protein. It also goes well with just about anything. <音楽>僕がこういう食べ方だと、もしかして。400年以上の侍と同じだということで、<笑>まあそういうことになると思います。This is sort of exciting. I'm able to experience what maybe the samurais experienced when they were eating miso over 400 years ago. Morsels of meat and vegetables are placed in the pureed miso and simmered for about 10 minutes. It's a very quick, simple way of cooking.
This morsel of chicken is cooked just right. Cooking it with miso cuts the smell of the meat, making it even more appetizing. すごいいい香りします。その味噌の香りすごいいい香りし、こう楽しめるのはね目だけじゃなくて耳でもコツコツコツって音してますね。じゃあこれ全部食べると。It's really good. It's, it's got that miso, a little bit of a tangy taste, but you can still taste the, 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 the chicken, and it's got a really nice texture, and it sort of dances on your tongue. It is really, really good. Wow, those samurais, they had good food. Mmm, I like it. Mmm. In the old days, all of the regional warlords around Japan had facilities for producing miso in their territories. Miso was that important. What a fantastic journey! And Japanese miso, what a fabulous food! It seems to have this ability to be eternally delicious. It's as popular now as it was 600 years ago. Samurai loved it. Sorry, men love it now. And it seems to be able to change itself like a wizard from being salty and pasty to something very light and zesty. This has really been interesting learning about miso. And something I really know for sure is Japanese people love it. And now so do I. I definitely recommend give it a try. Immerse yourself in the world of Japanese miso. You won't regret it. From Tokyo, it takes about an hour and a half to reach Nagoya by Shinkansen bullet train. To get to Okazaki, the city of Miso, it takes about 30 minutes from Nagoya by local train. Seto, a city to the east of Nagoya, is famous for its ceramics. Craftsmen have produced pottery here for a thousand years. To this day, each piece is individually made by hand. Some potters make the earthenware hot pots used for miso nikome udon. If you look around, you're sure to find a piece that is just right for you.